normal distribution and conditional probability, students get scared of this stuff. But it's actually super simple. Let me show you. It says the time in minutes taken to fly from London to Milan has a normal distribution of mean 120 minutes, standard deviation 20 minutes. Find the probability that the next flight takes more than 135 minutes. Okay, so let's define our distribution. I mean, they're talking about x over here, so let's say t. So let's let t equal time to Milan. What I always tell you guys, do a quick sketch. So we have, I mean, you could say as well, my bad, t is normally distributed 120 and 20 squared. So we have 120 and the standard deviation is 20. Find the probability of greater than 135. Now, positioning is not super important, but it can give you a good idea if you're in, on the right line. So if that's 20, 20 this way, that's going to be 140. So somewhere a bit below. So there, 135. They want the probability of more than that. So we need to write the cumulative statement here. So in the calculator, we can work out up to 135. So we can do up to 135 and then subtract from 1 to get that remaining area. So we're going to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than 135. Now, I'm not using phi here, as I've discussed in previous videos, because here we're not talking about the z distribution. Okay, so uh, where's my calculator? It's here. We can put this in. So you've got normal cd. So my lower, we're just going to do negative bunch of noins. My upper, 135. Sigma, 20. And then we have 120. So that gives me 0 0.7733 dot dot dot. And then we're just going to do 1 minus answer. So menu 1, 1 minus answer, about 0 0.2266. So for normal distribution, 6 to 4 dp. The time taken to fly from London to Amsterdam has a normal distribution 50 and standard deviation sigma. Given that 25% of flights take longer than one hour, find sigma. Okay, so this is like the previous question, just, well, the previous video I did where we did simultaneous equations with mu and sigma unknown. This is a much easier one. Now, I've used t already. Um, let's just use s. Time to, actually, let's use uh, d. Because we don't say Amsterdam, we say dam. If we're going to be informal about things. Time to dam. So D is normally distributed 50 and sigma squared. Doing our sketch, 50, sigma, more than an hour. So an hour is 60 minutes. More than that is 25%. Right. Here we are going to have to use the Z distribution, which means we can write phi. We can utilize phi. So we need to write a cumulative statement for this, okay? Cumulative meaning up to 60, all right? So we're saying not greater than 60 is 0.25. We're saying less than 60, less than 60 is 0 0.75, okay? It says longer than one hour is 25%, so less than an hour is 75%. Now we can convert it into phi. So phi, we do 60 minus the mean, divided by the standard deviation. But in fact, we know what the mean is, is 50, is 0 0.75. And then we're going to inverse phi. Okay, so here we get 10 is, and I'm going to multiply through by phi as well. So menu 7, inverse normal, area is 0 0.75. So I get 0 0.6744. Sigma, divide... I haven't given any unit of uh, degree of accuracy here, but it's all good. 10 divided by A is 14.8. This is about 14.8 minutes. Okay, part two. This is what students struggle with all the time. What did I store as A? 0 0.67. Okay, cool. Just check my answer. Uh, the time X minutes to fly from London to Lahore has a normal distribution with mean mu minutes. Probably about nine and a half hours whatever that is. Given that this probability is 0 0.2, find this probability. Okay, forgetting all this, 
When I see this, I'm immediately thinking about my conditional probability statement. So I have the probability that x is greater than mu plus 30 given x is greater than mu minus 30. So that becomes the probability that x is greater than mu plus 30 and x is greater than mu minus 30 all divided by the probability that x is greater than mu minus 30. Now, if we were to plot this on a number line, that numerator is actually a really simple probability. So if I look here, you have mu, you have here mu plus 30, and here mu minus 30. First thing I notice that there's symmetry. So I want x to be greater than mu plus 30. I want this, and I want this. So we're just looking for the overlap. This numerator is just the probability that x is greater than mu plus 30 divided by this, okay? So we have the probability that x is greater than mu plus 30 divided by the probability that x is greater than mu minus 30. What are these probabilities though? It's actually very simple. So we have mu. In the question, I gave you guys mu minus 30, but less than that. I gave you that this area here is 0 0.2. So that denominator of being greater than mu minus 30 is 0 0.8. So if that's 0 0.2, this is 0 0.8. So it's definitely over 0 0.8. But where would mu plus 30 be? Well, symmetry is going to be on the other side. What about greater than that? Well, that's just going to be 0 0.2 as well. So the answer is 2 eighths, which is 1 quarter, or 25%. And that is your solution. So not as bad. Yeah, especially not as bad as the previous question I did on the normal distribution. So guys, if you learned something today and you're feeling less intimidated, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my A-level maths courses, more details in the description. And feel free to join the Learn Gang Reddit if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice one, Mike.